Hi everybody, it's me. Um, I was looking through some magazines and got inspired, so I thought I would just pop in and share a little bit. Uh, you know when you collect supplies and crafts and stuff over the years or over the time frame when you started, uh, you end up collecting a whole bunch of um, odds and ends, you know? And you buy a packet that maybe you only need one or two out of, and uh, or you see a really good deal and you know, I can use those later on. You know the drill. Okay, well what I saw was really, really neat. And you can do this with any tags. You can make your own uh, from scrap paper or whatever. But what I saw, and I set those aside, was um, tags as ornaments. So I went through some of my... Uh, uh, let's see if I can get that any closer. I can't. I'm having a really big difficulty with my camera lately. That's why I haven't been doing a whole lot of videos. But I got inspired and I wanted to try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer these images to these tags. But before I do that, I'm going to paint the tags. And I thought I would paint them in a really pretty silver. So let me paint these. Let these dry. See, these are just those little, not wooden, but they're like balsa wood. So they're really thin, thin wood. So I'm going to paint these up. I only have six. And when they dry, we'll come back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I decided against doing the silver because it just wasn't showing up really well, so I did red instead. <clears throat> and now what I'm doing is I don't care for the straight, straight edges, so I'm just tearing the, you know, just the edges to give it a more... Um, vintage look. Um, <laughs> not doing really well with this one, but I think it's because I'm tearing so close to the edge. But it was kind of hard to find images that I really wanted to put on on this. Let me see. Yeah, see, some of it has to be pulled or torn just a little bit more. I like having, you know, the edges around um, a little bit. So you can see kind of like a border. <clears throat> so that's all I'm doing. But I painted both front and back, and I got the edges. So let's see if we can. There we go. Just a little bit. Let's see how that'll look. Eh, for the most part, I'm going to pull a little bit more off the top. I wasn't sure if I was going to do anything else other than you know, just putting the image on the card or on the tag. But I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to possibly, we'll see how it looks, but possibly do uh, either some glossy accents or maybe just some glitter or something like that. And now I'm just going to ink the edges a little bit. Wish I had a lighter brown. I think I do. I just haven't looked it up yet. There. Do a little bit more at the top. Yeah, I think that'll do. So far, so good. Sorry if the lighting is um, 
a little off. Like I said, I've been having a difficult time with my camera. Apparently, the mount I bought to use it is uh, not for the camera that I wanted. Actually, I was going to use Mod Podge, but I don't think I am. I think I'm going to use some matte gel. I like this stuff just a little bit better. I got an old nasty ratty toothbrush or paintbrush rather that I'll use. <clears throat> and matte gel will um, dry clear. So even if I get it outside of where the you know the image is supposed to be. But I just want to make sure that it stays where it's supposed to. So let's get that out of the way. Just a little bit down. And then I'm going to press it down with my paintbrush, put a little bit of matte gel on top of it. I don't know if I'm going to use, I might use some Udi and some glitter. If you don't know what Udi is, it's ultra thick embossing gloss or enamel. Alright, so that's that one. And hopefully it'll, oh well. I'm trying guys, I really am. So we're going to set that one aside and we're going to do the next. Now the next one, I may not be able to get away with the same. Or I can do the edges a little bit. Wouldn't it be nice if Christmas trees were $2? That would be cool. It's a little more hard to get it when you're only just trying to barely get the edges. But, you know. That's a little good. Oh, that was great English, huh? A little good. Alright. Let's see how that works. Yep, that looks good. Alright. Slide that. Oops. Slide that off to the side. I'm going to ink the edges. And see, it's not a whole lot when you're looking at it as you're inking. But when you put it against, um, say, a mat, a mat board or something else, you always manage. You, it, it always shows the see the outline so well, and it just sort of frames it out. So let's do this. up on the scale. That looks good to me. What do you think? I'm just going to use a little bit on top to help press it down. I 
And there's that one. Okay, now I've got four more that have different, uh, you know, things on it. I'm going to do the other four, and I will be right back. Okay, so I don't have Udi. What it's called is Triple Thick Brilliant Brush On Gloss Glaze from Deco Art. And I also have some Diamond Dust from Elizabeth Craft Design. And I picked up, picked out some halfback pearls. Flatback, halfback, however you want to call it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do, see if this works. Is I'm going to take some triple thick and I'm going to paint it, brush it, however you want to look at it, over the whole surface. And then I'm going to take a sprinkling of the diamond dust and just sprinkle it all over it. Give it a little bit of, you know, holiday sparkle. It's pretty much self-leveling, kind of like glossy accents, if you can get a decent coat on it. Not too thick, but, you know, not paper thin or ultra thin. <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm going to take... I missed a spot. <clears throat> okay. I believe I've got it all. So I'm going to take a little bit, just a little, and I'm going to very carefully, or not, you know, just sprinkle a little bit on top of well, I got to There we go. Got too much in one spot. So set that aside. And I'm going to set a couple of pearls just right down in the triple thick. that's all I'm going to do for now. Just to give it a little bit of sparkle for the holidays.
if I'm checking with different light angles, which, you know, I can't say is the greatest right now for me, but uh, a lot of times, you know, when you check different angles in the light, you can see where you've missed. So now we're going to take some of the... Just sprinkle it over. I probably should have done this on a piece of paper, but... I'm just going to put a couple of pearls in the corner. Now when that levels out and hardens, it'll be all sparkly. So that's what I'm going to do with the last of these. And when I'm done, I'll be back and we'll see what's next. Okay, um, from the beginning, you know, when I cut off these little uh, uh, twines that came with the tags, I didn't, I didn't care for them too much. But I did have a spare ribbon, and uh, it just says Merry Christmas. Uh, it's going to be too bright, I think. Let me try and... Uh, maybe that'll work. There we go. Okay, it's just ribbon that says Merry Christmas. And I figured that would work for a tag or to hang it on your Christmas tree. But yeah, these are dried. You can see how it's really sparkly. And all I'm doing now is threading the ribbon through. Try and do it so that the Merry Christmas stays on the outside. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to knot it at the end. So, at the end of this, we've got six beautiful tags or ornaments or, you know, whatever you want to do with them. And obviously, you can decorate them any way you want. You can do it to a theme. You can, you know, some people do red and gold. Some people do red and silver. I know one year my daughter did uh, purple and silver for Christmas and it was absolutely gorgeous. And, uh... Some people do their Christmases in blues, some in greens, you know, some in just all whites to make it look like a winter wonderland. And I think that's beautiful too. Me, I like doing mine vintage. Uh, for a long time, I did mine red and silver. Everything was red and silver, red and silver. And uh, it was beautiful. I loved it. But then, you know, after a few years, you see things and you get inspired in different ways. And, uh, I went nature for a long time, you know, with a lot of pine cones and, uh, boughs of pine and, and, uh, holly and things like that, you know, uh, tree branches, you know, that was very, very beautiful, very organic. And sometimes I like to go vintage, which I, I've done vintage the last couple of years. And there's one I want to do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but there's been uh, quite a
quite a few things that I've seen on Pinterest and Etsy and stuff like that that uh, I absolutely adore and it's like a whimsy you know almost I don't know just fun and I'm thinking you know in the next couple of years I might do that sorry I didn't mean to be out of out of camera focus but uh yeah so I may do that one year I'd like to eventually but right now what soothes my soul is the vintage that's what I've been <clears throat> you know focused on and it's all about comfort it doesn't have to be about style so much as uh, or everything that matches or it's just if you see something and it speaks to your soul or it just inspires you or just makes your heart smile you know then go for it because nobody in this world will ever make you happier than you can make yourself and the same thing goes in reverse you know <clears throat> But if it makes you happy and it doesn't hurt anyone, you know, go for it. Oh, there we go. There's our six Christmas ornaments. Just made from a tag, some paint, and some graphics, some spare graphics from a, a paper pad I had. And that's it. So that's, that's one of my first video Christmas video for uh, Christmas 2021 um, I hope everybody has a blessed day and uh, always remember always find the humor in life because if you don't life sucks well have a great day and I hope to see you again soon thank you bye